Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my playthrough of Mega Man The Wily Wars, and, well, now we're on to the main event of of this playthrough, and that's going to be The Wily Tower, and I figure I showed this part first. I notice how Mega Man's all clear, Mega Man 2, all clear, Mega Man 3, all clear. Now we have The Wily Tower, we have three new Robot Masters, and... While I never really read the story, I, I did. I do remember that they, they're supposed to be based off of characters in Journey to the West. So I might as well show it. Yeah, and when you beat all three, Wily Tower shows up. So we got Mega Man 3, 2, the original, and now the Wily Tower. And of course, Wily escapes again. And of course, we get some translations. I mean, Metallic has two L's, not one. A few hundred tricks. Looks like you got three. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you said about the eight from Mega Man 2. Yeah, it's, yeah, the test is going that fast. That's not me. Yeah, as I said, these three were, were based off a of journey to the west. We got Buster Raji, which I think is supposed to be Son Goku, I think. I, I haven't read the story and I really should try and make an effort to find and get that story to read for myself. For myself, that is. Also, we got Mega Water S, which I think is supposed to be based off of Kappa. So, I, again, I'm just guessing. Please don't take anything I say about these three to heart. And of course, we have Hyperstorm H. He's a big, he's a big boy. I think the H is supposed to stand for Hog. I, I don't know what he's supposed to be based off of. I think I will go for him first, and before I say anything else, in official canon, these three are, are known as the Genesis Unit, for obvious reasons. But I'm going to start with Hyperstorm H. Like I said, he's really big. You thought Hard Man was big? He's bigger. Alright, so the whole gimmick for this one is that weapons and items we can we can choose whatever weapons and whatever items we want to use from the free Mega Man games so let's see I think I'll start with well I want to get Metal Blade in first I'll put Crash Bomber here for this I think I'll go with the hard knuckle let's see firestorm first thing I like the, the thunder beam I think just in case there's anything I had to deal with super arm Oh wait, I do want to bring the Hyper Bomb because if I remember right, that's what Hyperstorm Hog is. Well, Hyperstorm H is weak to. And... And for... And I'll go with Needle Cannon. Just so I can have a second weapon for Mega Man 3. Now as far as the items go, we have Magnet Beam, the free items from Mega Man 2, and of course Rush. So I'm going to take the Rush Jet, that's pretty much something you have to have. I think I'll take item 1 and the Magnet Beam. 
But really, all you really need is... Yeah, I want to get that in first. Alright, I whipped on that fourth metal blade. Yeah, it seems like... There we go. Seems like if you just stay still. Ah, you know what? That's probably one of the things I hate platforming wise. <sighs> yeah, let's take care of you. Is that you can't pause your projectiles off the screen? That should take care of that. Alright, I'm not taking chances down there. Alright. Hi, Hammer Joe. Oh, those needle presses. Oh, for a moment I thought I might have been an invisible platform. Seems like this one's more of a... Ooh. Yeah, I'm kind of screwing up here. So far, every enemy's been from Mega Man 3, except for those haters. Yeah, let's... Let's pop Rush that in. And yeah, let's get a bit closer. That shot me as shots go over me. Alright, I do want to use hard knuckle, but before I do that, let's get my health back. Oh, yeah, this one. I could try to do the platforming, but. I want to cheese my way through this. There we go. Much safer. Now the hard part, in through this fight. <laughs> Alright. Hyperstorm Hog, but I'm so low on health, and alright, I got three lives. I can risk it. So, yeah, Hyperstorm Hog has two. Count two. Health bars. And. He can suck you in and Oh 
we gotta be careful here because... Alright, if I do this... Wow, I did it with just the one health bar. Not much health. Learning the patterns real quick. And down goes Hyperstorm Hog. I might have time for all three of the Genesis unit. If I do, well, I think next on the list will be Mega Water S. Alright, I think for this one, I'm going to replace the Hyper Bomb with the Ice Slasher. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, there's no reason to jump up there. Hmm. Alright, that didn't work. Let's see. Firestorm? Yeah, Firestorm can work underwater. Yeah, I best get my blade equipped. Gotta practice my jump. Got in safely. Oh yeah, more needle presses. If I'm seeing you, I got an idea. Yeah. I'm helping making everything easier. Alright. I could go rush jet or magnet beam here. Oh, I probably should have. I'm I was so scared of missing. Well, misgaging my jump that I misgaged my jump. Yeah, just like me to you beat that mid boss, it won't be there. Actually, kind of think of it, Rush Jet might be the option to go with here. Alright, let's see. That's a hard knuckle spot. I'll take care of those. Get this energy tank. And there we go. There. All three of those are taken care of. Hmm. 
I think I can make this jump. Ah, so you weren't as unexpected surprise. Alright, that's taken care of. Alright. Looks like here I gotta stay above, above water. It's almost like I'm in Green Hill Zone. Here we go. Alright, let's see. I think I'll use Ice Slasher here. I'm hoping this is the right weak point. But yeah, we gotta have a mixed battle here. Ooh. Yeah, Mega Water S can shoot harpoons and geysers of water. And of course have a barrier that can absorb damage temporarily. So if I can buster it enough, ooh. I can switch over to Ice Slasher. Yeah, I got pushed right back into the water. I need to do a better job of gauging where I'm at. Yeah, energy tanks don't matter if you're getting pushed into the spikes. Almost feels like Storm Eagle Storm Tornado. Oh, Ice Slasher can actually break it. There we go. Mega Water S taken care of. Yeah, don't expect expert plays for me in this portion. I'm not as experienced in this. This may be like the second time overall that I've played the Wily Tower version of this. And that just leaves one to go, and that's Buster Rod G. So, let's take care of this. Well, this guy. In essence, he's kind of the leader of the Genesis unit, so I don't need Ice Slasher for, for this one. So, hmm, what should I go with? Hellblaze kind of in my anti air. Hmm. You know what? I'll go with the quick boomerang and just go forward. Yeah, I can avoid those beaks. And of course the metals here are are the kind that fly. Actually I'll let these pass by. See if I can finally get through. Ooh. Yes. It can be kinda of hard to see. Ooh. 
Marina could avoid this with a Russia or an Iron One or even the Magnet Beam. Which have been the ones I've been bringing all along. There we go, four metal blades. Alright, we got... Oh yeah, this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna rush at my way past this guy. I'm not gonna deal. Alright, got those bummy hellies taken care of. Actually, I should switch to my metal blade. Ah, there we go. Much better. Oh yeah, petite snakeies. And while I'm at it, I'll refill my my rush jet. Four metal blades, or was it three? Oh. Ah, quick boomerang, thank you. Alright, should I go that way with the crash bomber? I think it's about the only way I can show what's there. Well, the Clash Bomb is still listed as CL, not CR. Oh, a Shinky Maker. Alright, got my E-Tank. So that gives me two. Just try and line up my jumps perfectly. Alright. I'm in good position for Buster Raji. I think it was the mm, hard knuckle for this one. I can't remember. But gotta be where to stick. Ooh. Yeah, it was the hard knuckle, and he gets away from us. Maybe we'll find Buster Raji later, but for now we gotta get going. Alright, so yeah. That's, well for me that's going to do it for this episode, and next episode we'll actually go through the Wily Tower proper. So until then, why don't you have a good day everyone, and hopefully I'll catch you next video. Later everybody.